One of the more challenging parts in today's home search is going toe to toe with other buyers in a bidding war. I'm proud to say that my clients right now have successfully beat out other offers, other buyers, and either they're already enjoying their home or they're just finalizing the escrow process. Trying to buy a home in today's market is a little bit tough. COVID-19 has motivated a lot of people to look for a home, but it's also deterred a lot of people from listing their home. So there aren't as many options available. But even if you've bought a house before, no matter how experienced you are in the home buying process, there are just a few tips that would be very helpful to know in this market. Tip number one is to know how much you could afford. Sellers just want to make sure that at the end of the day, the transaction is going to go through. Pre-approval letters are super necessary in today's competitive market. And the good thing is that your lender could even go one step further and have you prepare what's called a direct underwritten approval. All that does is show that all of the qualifications have been met and all income documents have been reviewed. This will help show that you have the financial wherewithal to purchase the home. And if a house doesn't match the budget, be prepared to walk away from that one and just focus on the ones that do. Tip number two, increase your down payment or earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is just the initial deposit made on a house when an offer has been accepted and it's applied towards the down payment. By increasing the earnest money deposit, it'll show, that, it'll show the seller that you are a serious buyer and ready to put your money where your mouth is. Tip number three, offer a higher price. For many sellers, cash is king. And they, will, and they will sell to the highest offer. However, that doesn't mean that you have to offer tens of thousands of dollars more. At the end of the day, the home must appraise whenever there's financing involved. So just going a few thousand dollars above the asking price can make the difference between winning a house or losing out on it. Also, you'll just need to keep in mind that just because you are willing to pay more, your lender may not be. So your loan cannot exceed the appraisal value of the home. So in the event of that happening, you'll have to cover anything above the appraised value by bringing in additional cash to the closing. Tip number four, consider waiving or shortening contingency periods. This tip is not for everyone. While some buyers are willing to go to the extreme and will waive financial and inspection contingencies in order to show how badly they want the house, it can come at a price or at least some restless nights. So waiving or shortening the time period on one or more contingencies could be exactly what it takes to, to get the house. But it'll be important for you to just decide if that's worth, worth it for you on a case by case basis. Tip number five, be prepared to move quickly. If you think that there's gonna be multiple offers on a home that you're bidding on, just submit your offer right away. Actually, most of my clients, what they decide to do is to make offers on multiple homes at the same time. And all that does is increase their odds in their favor. In the event that more than one house is actually uh, accepted, like more two or three offers are accepted, well, the power is now back in their hands. They can select which house they really want. Tip number six, be flexible. If you feel like passing on a home that meets most of your criteria, like bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, lot size, price, but maybe has bedrooms that are painted orange, or maybe has ugly carpet, or an unpleasant cosmetic repair, well, that's opportunity. Most other buyers in your price range are seeing the exact same homes as you are, and are probably getting ready to pass on this one and focus all of their efforts on the pretty, turnkey, remodeled home. If you could get past a cosmetic repair, then you may be able to secure a home right away. While everyone goes, to battle it out on the other property. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to design it exactly how you would like. All that being said, sometimes no matter how good your offer is, you'll still be outbid. So keep putting your best foot forward with enthusiasm and faith. And when working with the right agent, a few weeks is all that, you'll be need, all, all that will be needed to help serve your needs. If you're looking for the right agent, I know of a good one.